Hi guys, this is Sarah. Welcome back to Raven's Crochet. And my furry feline Raven is around here somewhere. I just got done going through a whole bunch of yarn and gathering stuff up because today I am doing a giveaway for Thanksgiving as a thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much if you are newly subscribed. I've been getting a few new people here and there. I've been telling some work colleagues and some friends here in passing out and about about my channel. And they're like, you do that? I'm like, like, I need to check this out. It's like, oh, that's pretty cool. So it's always fun getting comments like that. Um, so I have gathered a whole bunch of goodies here for a giveaway for Thanksgiving. But this is a, this is um, a giveaway for knitters. I don't pers personally knit. I crochet. I have done the basic knit and purl stitches on a scarf that I never finished. I think I, in fact, actually frogged all the yarn back and made something else with the yarn. I don't even remember. That was a long time ago. But they had this, these really cool books at Ollie's, and I found all this really cool yarn on, on discount. And I have some patterns in here and just some, some goodies in here, so stay tuned so you can check out what I've got in this giveaway. So I finished my scarf. This is the stitch I recently did a smart, uh, small tutorial on. The, um, the double V shell stitch, okay, it's upright on this side, that's the stitch. Beautiful scarf, it's 10 rows of shells across. It's wide like a shawl, I can still use it as a scarf, I can use it as a head wrap. So I like my wide, sh my wide scarves, I used two little balls of the, well they were donuts actually, of the um, Stylecraft Amour and the Colorway Dusk. I used two balls of yarn, so just a touch over 500 yards of a four worsted weight acrylic is what I did with this. And a lot of you in the comments suggested I don't do a border, so I decided not to do a border. So that's the very bottom row where I started. I didn't do a row of single crochets, I just did my chain of 43, and then I started my pattern right off the bat. So in every fourth stitch, there's a shell. So on the ending side, I chain three and I slip stitch at the bottom of each shell. On the very top. So I chain three to start like I normally would on, on the beginning of each round. I slip stitch in the top, chain three, slip stitch in the top of the next shell, chain three, slip stitch. So it looks exactly like the beginning. And it looks perfect. Can't even really tell where I ended and stopped. I sewed in both my tails. Only had two tails to sew in. Well, aside from joining the two donuts together in the middle, I make like the I make like the tiniest little little bitty knots, um, and knots hold up together a lot better for a longer period of time. So I just do tiny little knots. I cut them down real short because my knots are safe and. My, uh, I'm not worried about a little bitty knot here because it's really hard to find in a four weight yarn. But anyways, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Around me it goes down to my waist. So I'm really happy with this. Um, I've made a couple of uh, dish scrubbies. This one's for my kitchen. And this one I'm using the cream colored yarn, cotton yarn, um, that is uh, going for my grandmother. I'm using this yarn in the colorway linen for a lot of her kitchen stuffs, along with the um, dark red, I think it's called uh, red wine paint box cotton yarns, 100% cotton. This is 100% cotton Walmart. So I worked up one strand of the cotton with one strand of the scrubby yarn, Red Heart scrubby yarn. I got, it's actually Lion Bee, yeah, Lion Bee. Scrubology cotton yarn that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. So I still have enough to make two more of these. I could probably get four of these little scrubbies, just scrubbies in, uh, in one skein. And all I did was I crocheted, I chained 13, and then I half double crochet in, in the second chain from hook. So there's 12 half double crochets across. I worked 16 rows, I fold it in half. And then I just do a whip stitch on the sides and I slip stitched the two ends together. And then with my leftover tail, my leftover working, like I said, I whip stitch on the sides 
and then I make a little loop. I go back through with my crochet hook and I just chain about five or six chains and I had enough left over for the loop. So one for me, one for my grandmother so far. And then I just made this lovey. Well, it's part of a lovey. It's just a simple basic granny square. And for those of you following me, I just posted a picture of this on the community page yesterday. Um, tonight or tomorrow before I go to work. Um, at least within the next 48 hours, I will have a small little tutorial for a border on this. I love to improvise. I try not to plan too much. It gives me a headache. I'm not a fan of math, although I do the basics for the crochet work. Because crocheting things makes me so happy, so I don't mind doing small little bits of math for crochet stuff. Hi, baby. Yeah, I'm doing a video. This is Raven. For those of you who may not know, my channel is named after her. She's down there in the corner of your screen. Maybe I can turn it a little bit so you guys can see her. There we go. Say hi, Raven. You're on video. Say hi. She wants my attention. It's like you're paying attention to something, and that's that attention belongs to me. So I will be doing a small little tutorial on a border for this. I'm just going to be using a fluffy, soft acrylic, four worsted weight yarn in the color Ecru. I love working with these little donuts. These are from Ice Yarns. I think this is 90 meters of a four worsted weight yarn, but it has 30% polyamide in it, I think. And the colorway is Ecru. It is so soft and plushy. I, that's what I made the baby changing pad out of, which I started another baby changing pad. I've got 33 double crochets across. So I crochet, I chained 34, double crocheted in the second chain from hook and onward. And I'm going to do about 50 rows and then fold it in half and then make it like nice and cushiony. So, and I'm using one strand of this donut, uh, of this donut Ecru yarn from Ice Yarns with one strand of my peaches and cream linen. So I'm using this for a lot of stuff. I'm also using this by itself, making those. Um, hot pads where you crochet around and around and around and you take those two ends and you fold them in like a triangular way and then you get like this diagonal effect. I'm making a bunch of those for my grandmother's kitchen. So on to this giveaway. Here's what I've got first that's going to go out to the winner. Not to get it mixed up with my whips here. I found this knitting book, knitting magazine, um, an extra pamphlet of um, patterns and a bunch of clips and stitch markers you can use. I did a video on this where I kind of briefly opened it. I flipped through it. I will include that video link in the description box below. So if you want to see a peek of what's inside of here, um, as I briefly flip through the pages, you can look at that video. I don't want to do it again and mess it up anymore. Um, it's in brand new condition. I had it out of the package for maybe five minutes just to show you guys. And then I put it back in the plastic as soon as I wrapped up the video. But um, this is from two and a half, three years ago. The date on the barcode says it was um, issue number 176 in 2018. So it's, this is three years old. Maybe a few months after three years old because it, 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 looked like it, it looks like it's a summer edition. Um, it's the UK's best loved knitting magazine. It's called Simply Knitting. There's 30 patterns in here in the magazine and there's an extra pamphlet of um, knits for your home and then these really cool stitch markers. These are really good. These are kind of, I think these are like the, um, these are the off brand to uh, the Clover knitting clips. Um, a lot of quilters and sewing enthusiasts use these. I have a whole ton of these in my sewing supply so I don't need these. These are extra. And they come in gorgeous colors. Look at all those pretty colors. So you get three of each color, which is more than enough to use for stitch markers. And if you quilt or sew, you can you can definitely use them for that as well. So and there's the back. It's just a Rowan advertisement, which Rowan yarn I hear is really great to work with. One of my yarny friends just sent me some Rowan yarn, so I'm going to be able to play with that after Christmas. <clears throat> Ollie's, I found this killer knitting book. I thought it would be great 
to gift in a giveaway. This is the Knitting Reimagined book, hardcover, an innovative approach to structure and shape with 25 breathtaking projects. It's by Nikki Epstein. Epstein. And there's a few pictures on the back. Uh, this was originally manufactured to sell for $29.99. I scored it at Ollie's for $2.99. It's got a beautiful, beautiful pumpkin color on the inside front and back covers. And I'm just flipping in here to get a copyright date so I can tell you how old this book is. Copyright 2014 by Nikki Epstein. Photograph copyright 2014 by Potter Craft. So there's a contents. There's an index in here. Um... I believe that there's, yeah, there's about the author, and there's, yeah, there's an index, there's a list of resources, um, and there's, like, stores and, and, and contact phone numbers if you have questions about a particular yarn, and there's a similar, there's a um, simple stitch guide with, with digraphs, there's abbreviations, knitting techniques, and all that stuff, and they have, like, just for an example, they have diagrams of the um, projects which is nice and I think there's there there's charts there's lace patterns and there's charts so I thought this is a fantastic book hardcover use it as a coffee table book use it when you need need inspiration so this is um, something for you knitters and then I found this killer yarn I've never used heat wave before I got it for myself on a purple colorway I think it's called like the violet color mix or something this one is called vacation it is priced normally at $5.99. Ollie's is selling it for $2.99 until they run out. It's a Yarn Inspirations yarn. It's by Red Heart. It is called Heat Wave. It supposedly um, warms you up in colder temperatures, um, even if there's overcast and there's clouds in the sky blocking the sunlight. Um, there's a website here on the label where you can go to get free patterns if you need inspiration on making something, but I thought this would be a gorgeous hat and scarf set or hat and cow set for someone or a hooded cow scarf. You make it a one piece. This is a four worsted weight yarn. Calls for a five millimeter crochet hook, 100% acrylic, 3.5 ounce skeins, 100 grams, 164 yards, 150 meters. There's three skeins in here. And if you want to add to it or make something else separately, I'm also including two skeins I also got from Arli um, Ollie's, two ninety nine dollars a piece. This is um, Karen Simply Soft Party. It's a light, simple, basic light gray with multicolored sparkle in the yarn. And I'll be sitting these in this plastic bag. You can use to store your yarn in, or you can use it for sewing supplies or junk around the house, or you can use it for a trash bag to keep by your chair for all I care. Um, these are three point. Um, these are three ounce skeins, 85 grams each, 164 yards, 150 meters. Also by Yarnspirations. So they're both Yarnspiration yarns. One's Red Heart, one's Karen, but they're both acrylic yarns. This one is three percent. Um, no, this is 99% acrylic, 1% metallic for the multicolored thread in there. So if you work these up together, this, this would make a great striped pattern. Use this to add some bling to it, to your project or whatever. Um, make a big shawl with this. That's you got like over 600 yards here, um, I think close to 7. And then I'm also going to include, just to share the love... I'm going to include three little, three little cakes of this peaches and cream yarn because I can only find this at Walmart for $1.97 a piece. Online, they're like six bucks a piece, if not more. This is the color weight linen. It is 100% cotton. It's a four worsted weight yarn. Calls for a five millimeter crochet hook. It is a two ounce cake, 56.7 grams each, 102 yards, 93 meters, and I love the colorway. It has a gorgeous touch, soft of darker cream and a smidge of like a smoky gray in there. I love how it works up. Makes gorgeous hand towels. It feels really, really great on your skin. It would be excellent for washcloths, 
So I'm including three of these little cakes as well. And they will go in the bag with the gray um, acrylic yarn. Just like that. And you got to add a few little accessories, right? So I'm also going to include a set of knitting needles by Lion Brand. These are US size 11. They're plastic, they're flexible, easy to handle, and durable. So you'll be getting these to work with if you don't know how to knit and you want to learn. There's a stitch guide in the back. Like I said, there's a stitch guide in the back of this book that will teach you the basics of knitting. Um, so get your inspiration on. And then you also got to need a little bit of a pair of scissors. These scissors are great. I get them from Dollar Tree. I get a whole bunch of them. Anytime they got them on hand, I just get a bunch. I love adding these to giveaways. I love using these myself. I've got a little bitty pair of purple ones I keep in my project bag. They're great. And in case you want to crochet, I'm including some crochet hooks. These are five different um, plastic resin crochet hooks with acrylic glitter inside. They're by Boy, and you get sizes 4 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 5.5 millimeter, 6 millimeter, and a 6.5 millimeter and I have love using these hooks these are the ones um, that I started learning off of the metal ones as well the metal and the plastic resins like this that's this is what I learned off of when I first started crocheting and they have tape their tapered hooks and I think they work really really well if you have a squeaking problem with plastic grab an alcohol wipe and just clean them off. It could be like a residue issue. And then that should reduce the squeaking and it should um, make your yarn slip through more, more, uh, more easily. And then I also included some stitch markers. I have a whole bunch of these. They look just like safety pins. They're made out of plastic. They have a sharp tip, but they're not, they're not that sharp. So, but these are plastic, they're not metal. They're still a little pointy and sharp. But they make great little stitch markers. They're universal. Um, you can use these on baby diapers if you have to in a pinch. Um, and I just put them in one of these little mesh bags. This mesh bag came from um, Rose Lake's Crochet, but the ribbon was broke. It came out of there. So I'm going to add a cute little ribbon in here. And then I'm going to cinch this up. And then I'll, I will include this with, this, with, the, um, with the knitting and crochet hooks and the scissors. And um, there might be a, another little bitty small surprise. I'm not going to show it here on camera, but there just might be another little itty bitty surprise that's going to be for the recipient. So in the comments down below, if you knit, please tell me what your favorite thing to knit is. If you have never done any knitting before and you're up for it, if you're up to trying, tell me what you would like to knit. Whether it's just a basic cow working in the round or if it's something simple like a dishcloth, or if you want to make a hat, just a simple beanie. Um, just name something you, you like to knit or that you would like to knit. And um, if you're in, in another country, just say, hey, greetings from such and such country. I like to knit blah, 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 blah. Well, that's pretty cool. Fancy meeting you from all the way over such and such place. Thanks for watching and hanging out. So I'm going to leave it here. I think that's all I've got for now. Um, I will be coming back in a couple of days with that small tutorial for that levy. And as soon as work stops kicking my butt, business has picked up a little bit. Um, as soon as... I get some more time to do more crocheting I will of course be back with more works and progresses and finished items such as this one I'm so happy this is done and it feels so squishy and soft and now Raven is wanting my attention again I have to get ready to go to work so peace out hope you guys are having a great week so far and what are bet what a better way to start off your work week if you do still work with this nice cool giveaway and this nice cool three different types of yarn lots of patterns a couple of books and lots of accessories I'm stoked so this is the official giveaway leave your comment and here in about a week or so 
um, I will be picking a winner. I'll probably go either seven to ten days, just whenever I feel like drawing a winner, I guess. It'll be at least seven days so you guys have time. So, good luck to everybody. And then once I reach 1,000 subscribers, I will be doing another giveaway at that point, too. And I still have a whole bag gathered up and ready to go for that. Trust me, that's how excited I am. I also have a package I'm going to mail out to a few podcasters here on the channel. And whoever wins this giveaway, that'll be a package going out. And I have a couple more packages going out. So, I'm super excited to go back to the post office. Good luck, everybody. Mwah. Hope you all are having a great week so far. Love y'all. Bye-bye.